slow, everybody. Come on, forks. Just got back from bringing the prime tech back to the house. And this is uh, my fork design. Since we don't have a forklift, we had to unload something pretty heavy this morning. The required forks. So it works just like it would on your uh, regular little rig, uh, like a Kubota wheel tractor. They come with this idea, but they just suck trying to get them off. Of I just leave that pipe on there. This is a solid shaft, by the way. But, uh, a little project I want to knock out before the sun actually goes down. And I figured while I got the bucket on the machine, because it's never on there. Once in a blue moon, that bucket will be on there. The rest of the time, it's just a grapple. So let's go ahead and use it. videos using the bucket just because let's dig gets away with it doesn't mean it's the best thing going let's dig's awesome too by the way so no disrespect to him but I ought to have this job freaking done already if I had my grapple on there and you get some unnecessary stress on your boom when you're just doing it like this now we gotta wait for the cold-blooded thumb sediment trap set up with the weeds and stuff down there at the bottom and it caught a lot of sediment since I cleaned it out so I need to go out here and clean out that trap because she's fold up real quick and we got some more weather coming our way so we need to get this cleaned up quick so as soon as I get around this freaking tree this creek to overflow on us so I'm gonna go back here and take care of it. to get some stuff done but small enough your pickup can tow it see now this I got in here what is squeaking? oh yeah no problem I came in here with a little excavator several months ago opened all this up and I left this little trap right here so Off a track now. That would suck. sediment that washed in from upstream 
But I left this trap right here, all this shrub stuff, so I didn't have to worry about, you know, floating downstream because I'll just gonna collect it all later like I'm doing now. But it's gotten so bad that, uh, yeah, it's clogging up and making a pond right here. So we'll go ahead and put this stuff up on the bank. that it was just restricting the flow like if it was a beaver dam or something. Hell, there might be a beaver dam right there. Get a little bit of this junk out of there. Again, this is just a seasonal creek. Only when the rain's flowing, it really does much.
like some boomerang breeze. mystery sign. It does say keep right. Yep. Oh yeah, what a score. Anybody wants a sign? Highest bidder. eBay. Auction. Airplane. Not the prettiest work, but nobody else is going to be messing with this. I had opened her up quite a bit. That way it's not backing up here because I dropped that about two feet out there. So get some good flow come the next rainstorm. I'll clean this up when it's not an absolute muddy mess. But what you say, boom? What you say, buddy? Huh? Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Keeping the creek cleared out. Boone and Piper go out there and play in the creek every once in a while. Make a big old mess of the house with mud. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Till next time. Hit them buttons, like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you later. Also, check out the V Belt and Sun website. Appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Bye. Just so there is no concern or discrepancy about how this creek project went, good flow. Nothing pretty, but she's effective. Not overflowing like it was the last time, so we're good.